Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Autoball Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this all-new Toyota Camry SE Hybrid. Now the most notable features on the SE Hybrid is its power moonroof, its backup camera, as well as its blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle, just to get you better familiar with this all-new Toyota Camry SE Hybrid. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this uh, Camry SC Hybrid is its newly redesigned front end as well as its auto daytime running lights. And if we take a look just over on the side here, you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors, Vortex generators, and then if we take a look on the inside of the mirror here, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting you that there's another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing with the SC Hybrid is you do have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the butt, or sorry, the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. If you put your hand between the handle here, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black cloth and leather accommodation seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look on your left hand side, you're going to see your automatic high beams as well as your traction control on and off, power lift gate, or sorry not power lift gate, but your automatic trunk release and then your gas cap opener. On the inside of your driver's side door, you do have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function as well as your back, Bluetooth, you have your volume control with voice recognition, and then you also have your lane departure alert as well as your mode select and seat. Now the nice thing with this new Camry is that they've now integrated the cruise control into the steering wheel here. And if we just take a look here... One of the nice things now is that you do have that push button start as well, so with that all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at some of the options you'll see here on the uh, multi-informational display is your digital speedometer, your tire pressure monitoring, and then taking a look as well you have a couple of other additional features with the distance empty energy monitor. Scrolling through you also have your uh, audio control, cruise control, and then you have your messages and then your settings, so taking a look, you have your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring, your rear cross traffic alert, and then vehicle settings, and then just your personal settings, just so that you can personalize everything for yourself. Now, for this new Camry as well, you have this newly redesigned front uh, center dash as well, so the nice thing with that is it's um, newly updated with the Antune 3.0, which I'll get to in a minute here. Now you have your hazard lights at the very top here, and then if we take a look at the screen here, you have your uh, digital clock. Heading into your menu here, you're going to see your audio, phone, apps, and a couple of other additional features. Now with the Entune system, if you head into your apps here, you can see a couple of different options through here, just taking a look here. And if you would like... You can download uh, apps to this uh, infotainment system. So one of the things that you could actually download to this infotainment sim uh, system is the uh, Scout GPS. So a lot of vehicles, they still don't have the um, navigation system standard on a lot of the vehicles. But the nice thing with the Scout GPS is as long as you have that app on your phone, you can actually have your um, destination prompts Usually you have to use your phone for uh, guidance systems in that. But the nice thing with the Scout GPS is that you can have it uh, um, put through onto your uh, multimedia screen here. So as long as you have the app with you on your phone, then you can have it on your multimedia screen here and have the uh, destination prompts, uh, whether to turn left or right, actually going on your multimedia screen here. Now you also have your dual zone climate control settings along with your uh, rear and mirror defroster. And then if we take a look just underneath here, you're going to see your USB and auxiliary as well as a power outlet. And then you also have the wireless charging pad here as well. The on button is just located right here as well. And then if we take a look on the inside here, you also have some storage space just to hide away some of your valuables. Matted to an automatic transmission. 
You also have your Eco Normal Mode and Sport Mode along with your EV Mode and then you have your parking brake here as well with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. At the very top here you also have your auto dimming rear view mirror as well as your integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top you also have your SOS safety uh, connect I should say with Toyota. And then you also have your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof. Now if you do forget your sunglasses at home you do have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo space as well as your trunk. Now located on the back of your trunk, you're going to find your backup camera just located underneath your Camry emblem. Now one of the nice things with the SC is that you also have that keyless entry system as well as an automatic trunk release. So taking a look at your key fob here, you have your lock, unlock, trunk release and panic button. So if you hold down on the trunk release for approximately two seconds, it'll open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now one of the nice things is if you do need the additional space you can actually fold down that 60-40 split uh, rear seat. So if you do need some additional space then uh, it's available to you. Now you also have your jack and tool kit and then if we go one more under you'll find your spare tire. So if you ever find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located. Now to actually fold down those rear seats as well as you just pull on these two uh, latches that you find on either side here. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.